हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ मुथुरा जे एम पी वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एट विद्यावर्धक कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मैसूर टू नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट यू गाइज ई ट्रांसफर थर्मल रेजिस्टेंस प्रॉब्लम्स ए कॉम्पोजिट वॉल इज मेड अप ऑफ एन एक्सटर्नल थिकनेस ऑफ ब्रिक वर्क लेवन सेंटीमीटर थिक एंड इनसाइड लेयर ऑफ फाइबर ग्लास सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम थिक द फाइबर ग्लास इज फेस इंटरनली बाय इंसुलेटिंग मेटीरियल सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम थिक द थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ थ्री लेयर्स आर एज फॉलोस प्रॉब्लम विद दिस वन एक्सटर्नल इट इज फायर वर्क ओके वॉट एवर इट मे बी द एक्सटर्नल इट इज फायर वर्क ऑफ लेवन सेंटीमीटर इंटरनल इट इज सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम द सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम the fiber glass is this is fiber glass is faced internally by insulating material of 25 mm thickness and having different thermal conductivities this is insulating material this is the fiber glass and then the composite wall external brickwork this is external brickwork of 11 cm the insulating board K1, it is given. Fiber glass K2, it is given, and brickwork thermal conductivity is given. Problem is continuing. The surface heat transfer coefficient inside the wall is 25 watt per meter square Kelvin, while at the outside is 3.1 watt per meter square Kelvin. Determine the overall heat transfer coefficient. of the wall using the same determine heat loss per hour through survey wall of 4 meter high and 10 meter long take inside wall temperature as 27 degree celsius and external is 10 degree celsius so this is the composite wall here up to this particular point they are not they are mentioning that the area will be 1 meter square when it is given the height is 8 meter and then width is 4 meter then you want to calculate for 8 into 4 8 was a 32 meter square for this 32 meter square you want to convert earlier it will be there with the kilowatts if you multiply with the 3600 then it will be change into the kilo joules hour this is the external brickwork fiber glass faced inside insulating board it is having internal heat transfer coefficient hi external coefficient h0 exposed to 27 degree celsius and this is exposed to the 10 degree celsius thickness l1 l2 l3 the thickness are given this is 11 cm 75 mm this is the thickness of 25 mm you can convert this one into 1.11 meter 0.075 meter this is supposed to be 0.025 meter insulating board thermal conductivity it is given glass thermal conductivity is given brick work thermal conductivity are given length are given these are the lengths thermal resistance concept you know very well first one will be for the 1 by hia this is l1 by k1a l2 by k2a l3 by k3 ये एंड लास्ट वन इज वन डिवाइडेड बाय हेच नॉट ये हियर यू वांट टू कंसीडर एरिया टू बी वन लास्ट यू कैन कंसीडर एरिया टू बी एरिया इट इज इक्वल टू फोर मीटर एट मीटर हाइट इनटू फोर मीटर विट देन इट विल बी थर्टी टू मीटर स्क्वायर देन यू कैन कंसीडर एट द एंड हेच आई वन बाय हेच आई यू आर गॉट दिस वन यू गॉट एंड देन K3 you got K H H H not that it is not K H not just H not this is H not 
total thermal resistance are given ti minus t naught this is the equation i have explained you guys already this is the value you will get total heat will be 4.15 watt per meter square why because it is for what 1 meter square then if you calculate q is e q for the what 32 meter square area then 32 into 4.15 you calculate how much it will come it will be with the 132.8 watt you note on this overall heat transfer coefficient it is responsible for hi h0 including k1 k2 k3 overall heat transfer coefficient it is includes with the convective heat transfer conduction heat transfer all these things will be takes taken here your q will be for 1 meter square we will calculate q for 1 meter square this is the overall heat transfer coefficient for 1 meter square if you want to calculate this one for 32 meter square u is equal to whatever you got per meter square you multiply it with the 32 into 0.244 the value will be it is 7.804 watt per meter square write down all these things pass the video and then write down all these things overall heat transfer coefficient can also be calculated like this you put the values a1 upon hy hi l1 by k1 l2 by k2 l3 by k3 all these things you put you will get the value u is equal to 0 0.436 you calculate this one for what 32 u is equal to 0 0.436 into 32 the value is going to be 13.952 watt per meter square kelvin